All right, good Wednesday morning, everybody. Meteorologist Kevin Phelps here. Uh, we're trying to dry things out here early on today, but uh, more rain is in the forecast here as we get into our overnight hours tonight and into Thursday morning. So we're starting out in the 40s and 50s uh, with clouds hanging around today. We're likely just going to hang out in the upper 50s and low 60s, so a little warmer than yesterday. But of course, uh, Mississippi River flooding uh, is the big deal here moving forward the rest of the week. We still have the flash flood watch post until 1 o'clock today. Um, I don't expect any more rain after this morning. Uh, however, it's tonight that I foresee us having uh, some of those problems. So uh, mostly cloudy skies here today. Going to be really hard to break that cloud cover, meaning we're probably going to be looking at quite a bit of drizzle here throughout the morning hours. Uh, we're still in the 40s here by 9 o'clock. As we get into the afternoon, you'll notice things uh, do begin to dry out. We're in the upper 50s. But uh, as we get into areas long term, that's when we have those showers and storms rolling through, especially as we get into the sunrise time here uh, on Thursday. So in terms of rainfall, we're tracking about maybe another half inch. We have to remember our crest forecast uh, just under record levels <coughs> does take into account uh, rainfall forecasted over the next 24 hours. So we'll see if that's revised here today, uh, but obviously rivers are going to be cresting here moving forward. So you want to download the QC Weather app for all the latest updates <coughs> Excuse me on that. Now, as you take a look long term, uh, we certainly have uh, those rain chances here as we get into next week, but we do dry things out for both Friday and Saturday. Highs around 70, widespread rain returning at least at some point uh, Sunday through Tuesday, but it doesn't look like it's going to be these long duration events. There's certainly going to be windows of dry time, but we'll have to see how this impacts our cresting rivers.